So when I was reading the text and watching the video, it reminded me of um, sort of the same question that I had during another class, which was um, scientific inquiry, that both are correct and you don't have to necessarily go through those steps in the same exact order every time. Um, there might be some steps or like the video said, there's elements that need to be revisited, more observations need to be done. Um, sometimes that process, it's not so much, it's not in order, it's not specific steps, like you have to do one before the other. Um, I remember, um, I recall a process where even, you know, for things to be published, um, they had to go through a lot of peer reviews and um, receive opinions from a lot of other people. So both are definitely correct. There is somewhat of a guideline, but it's not it's not exact. So um, just like the video pointed out, um, different fields might require something, you know, the process to be modified just a little. And, you know, I think the point of all of it is the goal and purpose is to gain the knowledge to explain things that are happening around us. You know, we get to that conclusion of theories, right? Theories are just based off of data and probably the best explanation possible out there. But we can come to a point where there might be more information or more data that can maybe help solidify that theory even more. And that's because these steps are being revisited. They're being redone. These elements are being studied. Um, more than once there's more than one attempt so um that's that was my takeaway from uh, this section of the class